From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button, and while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. The owner of a clown motel in Nevada is looking to sell it. You know, anybody willing to own and run a clown hotel? They would have to be a real bozo. Katie Couric is leaving Yahoo News after three years. Katie says she's proud of the three years she spent there, but apparently not enough to say Yahoo. Cosmetic surgeons have identified a new phenomenon among our computer-reliant generation described as computer face. They've noticed that sagging jowls and eye wrinkles are common on women who spend their days hunched over computers. The sagging jowls they are caused by constantly looking down. That shortens the neck muscles, making the neck baggy. The wrinkles they are caused by people who squint and frown when concentrating on their screens. Doing it for long enough or often enough, that makes the wrinkles and lines permanent. I, I can hear it now. My wife tossing the computer out the second floor window. Officials say a Spirit Airlines flight leaving Las Vegas on Sunday was briefly delayed after a passenger removed all their clothes while boarding and approached a flight attendant. Well, he had so much fun doing it during the TSA security check, he just couldn't wait to do it again. Amazon.com is under federal investigation for possibly violating U.S. sanctions against Iran by selling goods to at least one person listed on the government's terrorism list. And with Amazon Prime, those terrorists can enjoy Downton Abbey whenever they feel like it. The stereotype is that guys just won't ask for directions. But that's not always true. In a bizarre story coming out of the Middle East, it seems the pilot of a Kazakhstani chopper landed his $14 million military aircraft on a snowy highway, stopping trucks in their tracks. Well, soon the pilot hops out, runs to the first truck, shakes the driver's hand, has a chat, runs back to his gunship and takes off. Turns out the guy was just lost. He stopped to ask which way to Agtobe. A video of the incident is now making the rounds, prompting the Kazakhstan Ministry of Defense to defend its trainee pilot. He was apparently sent out as part of a visual orienting exercise in which he was supposed to figure out his way back by means of human survey. It's not clear, however, whether stopping to ask truckers counts as cheating. Why, hey, he, he asked a man for directions. Sounds like he figured his way back by means of a human survey to me. If you live to your 80s, you will have acquired six and a half feet of nose hair during your lifetime. Aren't you glad you know that now? Nearly one in four parents will deny their children this year some basic school items as they continue to struggle to cover the cost of returning to school. Nearly three-quarters of parents surveyed feel that back-to-school spending is a financial burden and 27 percent say costs will negatively impact their household bills. Man, you, you know things are bad when you have to dip into your kid's college fund to buy him a protractor. In Seattle, a brewery is offering employees puppy parental leave, a week off with pay when they adopt or rescue a dog. Hey, so you need a week off of work? Well, visit the dog pound. And what if that dog gets hit by a car next week? Do you get another week off when you get a new dog to replace the first dog? Hmm? The mayor of a small town in Spain is being urged to bring in an exorcist as workers believe the city council offices are haunted and the ghost was even caught on camera. You know what? We should do the same thing in the USA to exercise the demons out of Congress. Los Angeles will host the 2028 Summer Olympics. So Olathe, Kansas has been snubbed again. Hey, the, at least you know what? They'd they better start now if they ever hope to get that Olympic torch through LA traffic. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook anthology Last Exit by Jason R. Davis, an anthology of 17 horrific tales where life on the road can sometimes take a dark and unexpected turn. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. 
Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.